Hello everyone and welcome to this walkthrough of the Platinum Resorts uh, tournament. In this video I'm going to go through everything when it comes to uh, the tournament, like all from like, you know, are we going to play qualifying round, the uh, opening round, weekend round, how many holes, prices, tiebreaker, uh, needle speed, hidden spin, uh, etc. Uh, and um, uh, I hope you're going to find this uh, video useful. I do one of these videos before every single tournament. Uh, it's, and it's pointed a little bit more uh, to players that might uh, are new to the game and tournament but also for advanced players that might just want to have a fresh up when it comes to tiebreaker or prices etc so i'm going to start off here by saying do not forget forget to subscribe to the channel hit that bell button as well or the notification uh, button uh, and you will get the notification every time there is a new video or there is a live stream ongoing um, Platinum Resort Tournament starts on Monday, uh, the 15th of, uh, of October and uh, as normal it starts on a Monday we're going to start off with qualifier day number one. We do have three days where you can qualify so it's either Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, there is two ways you can do it, either you go in on qualifier day number one and you play and do your best and then you go through. Some players is going to go into qualifier day number one and practice which means that they are going to uh, deliberately make a par or a bogey so they do not qualify for the opening round so they can uh, get the feeling from the tee that they are playing and with the with the wind so they know and can make their adjustments after that so that is depending on how you want to do but if you do try to qualify and you don't qualify then you can try again on qualifier day number two if you do not qualify there either then you can try again on qualifier day number three if you don't qualify on any of the days, then you're going to be out and then you can't play more in the tournament. Other than, uh, otherwise, you're going to go to the opening round. So, you can see the, uh, here, three rounds to play, each with a limited number of holes to play. Qualifying round has nine holes and that is going to be the ones that we're going to go over a little bit quick in the end. Then the opening round we're going to have 18 holes, weekend round we're going to have 18 holes Then you maybe wonder, okay, so we do get 9 new holes for the opening round or weekend round No, we don't, we do get the same holes for the front 9 as we do have on the back 9 So you play every hole twice So, if you qualify from the, um, from the qualifying round, then you're going to go to the opening round Then you do have one chance in the opening round, not three as you had in the qualifying round to go through to the weekend round. Everyone that plays in the weekend round will be guaranteed a price, but also points to your clan. So opening round here, uh, it's the top 50 of 100 players that go uh, through to the weekend round. In the qualifying, it's the top 10 of 20 players that go through to the opening round. So scoring is based on shots taken the fewer uh, shots you complete your matches in the higher you will rank so uh, if you played nine holes both tiffany and seb if you can see in the example and you do get a minus six uh, as tiffany has and your opponent gets minus five then you are going to be the winner in that bracket uh, if uh, you and if you would be playing the shootout and you beat every opponent, doesn't really matter because it, shootouts in the tournament do not count towards your score. Don't do a Tommy and forfeit before the tournament, uh, before the regular hole has ended and reward yourself with a bogey. Uh, yeah, a little bit hilarious, but also that's a way how to screw up your weekend round. Prices, win prices of chess, coins and balls. Prices are awarded to players who reach the weekend round. Enter a higher level to win the biggest prices. Kind of makes sense. I'm going to take a look at the prices. Now we're going to start off by looking at the rookie division and here you can see a new feature that you can see those I, I don't it's clan points but you can see it's as silver badge or something like that just beside the coin and we're going to uh, talk about that a little bit in this uh, walkthrough as well. Entry fee 10,000 uh, you pay that one time uh, fee per game 1,000 winners per game 2,000 you only pay the entry fee for the qualifying round. But if you don't qualify on day one and have to qualify day two, then you will have to pay a new entry fee. But if you qualify to the opening round, you do not pay an, pay an entry fee in the opening round either. So you can see the prices here. It's a lot of cards, a lot of balls, and then you do have the clan points and 300,000 coins. The clan points will be rewarded after the weekend round ended when you do get your price chest. Then the higher up you place in the tournament, the more points you will get to your clan, which is definitely going to... Uh, be good and you can see the lower you get in uh, the round here the less you do get of course 
Uh, then we come to Pro. Uh, we do have entry fee 100,000 fee per game, 10,000 winnings per game, 20,000. You can see more cards, more balls, more points to the club, and 3 million coins. And that's the same here, it just drops down. And here for the first 25 players, they will uh, you will be rewarded with Kingmakers, which is awesome. So, Expert Division, 1 million entry fee, fee per game, 100,000, winnings per game, 200,000. Here you can see a tremendous amount of coin, uh, cards, balls, and also coins, with also 30 million uh, coins. So, there is a lot to find in these Expert Chests, uh, but the biggest difference is to Master. Uh, but the points here, uh, it's going to help your clan big time. We come to Master here, and here you can see entry fee of 10 million coins. The fee per game, 1 million. Winners per game, 2 million. And here on this division is where the best players in the world do play. Uh, and it's very, very tough. You play from the 30. That is the uh, big difference compared to the other divisions. And you also get rewarded for it if you do play good. Uh, a bunch of cards, a bunch of balls. Uh, but the difference with the balls here is that you do get the... the the Berserker Ball, which gives you a power 5, wind resistance 1, and a side spin 3, uh, which is going to be an absolute amazing ball when it comes to tournament play and especially in uh, Chailwind situations. Look at the clan points, it's like almost 12,000 points for win in Master. Uh, in my clan, we were lucky enough to win 3 of the brackets, uh, and there was another clan that won 3, uh, I think, as well brackets and that is going to be huge for the clan but also if we take a look at it the top 25 sorry the top 20 will be top 28 i think i'm just going to take a look 28 40 uh top uh, no sorry top 23 will gain more points uh, in master than you will get for winning an expert and i think that balance is absolutely excellent because that will make players go up and play in the division where they should be playing in my opinion so okay then we do have that and then we're going to go to the help desk section and we're going to press the wheel on the top left press help and then we're going to go to uh, tournaments then we're going to take platinum resorts tournament and then here you're going to be able to see like uh, first and foremost starts Monday the 15th October then you will see like the, the picture with all the prices and the and the banner that we're going to be able to win or the medal so to speak then you do have the holes we're going to play a mix of the Green of Point, the Southern Pines and the Milano so these are holes that we have been playing before and uh, it's going to be very interesting because it allows us to um, to go close on the par fours if we do have the win for it but also we do have two par fives that is very long and potentially we put ourselves in a very tough struggle there and it's going to be interesting to see what type of win we're going to get you can practice all the holes on tour nine which means that you're going to get every single one of them on tour nine but that is second t so that is prone expert but also you're going to see tour four uh and uh, for the milano holes if you play from the front tee Green of Point uh, is available in Tour 5 from Front T, and then Southern Pines is available on Tour 6. So, we're going to, uh, sorry, we're going to go in there again, and we're going to drop down a little bit here again. Here you have the flyover, and here, this is a very important part. Uh, you might can zoom in, or you can just open that one up in your app so you can see it a little bit better. But that kind of tells us what type of wind approximately we're going to get in the tournament. Uh, needle speed, T position front, uh, and also if we're going to have hidden spin. And uh, first we do have the rookie, this front T, and then we do have wind between 3 to 6 miles per hour. That means if you play with a basic ball, so you do not have any wind resistance whatsoever. Needle speed says it's increased with 6%. And that means that the needle speed is going to be a little, little bit quicker than your, uh, your used to, but it's still going to be very close to the same. Uh, pro, T position, middle, wind is going to be 7 to 10 miles per hour with a basic ball, and also needle speed increase with 15%. So it's a little bit tougher, uh, but also shouldn't be a problem. It's still going to be very close. 
when you come up to expert then the needle speed is definitely going to have a big impact and the same with the master we do have t positions middle wind is going to be between 11 and 14 with a basic ball needle speed increases with 30 percent and now we're starting to be especially with the short irons uh, wedges and the also rough iron sandwich is going to be tough it also says that the hidden spin is on which means that you are not going to be able to see what your how your op opponent's setup is going to be so when you open up uh, your opponent open up and see that ball you normally see the spin adjustment on then that is going to be blurred so you're go not going to be able to see that i think that is excellent people can't copy a shot uh, t position is going to be a 30 for master and then we do have wind from 16 to 19 with a basic ball uh, needle speed is going to be plus 50 percent uh, and that is going to be tough especially if you're used to a lower needle speed to get that in that is not going to just be something you can do like that uh, hidden spin on uh, uh, hidden spin is on uh, which means that we can't see the adjustment there either so then we do have that and we are going to go as last year to just go with the tiebreakers real quick a tiebreaker applies if you do have the same score as uh, your opponent in the tournament and then you will be able to see this uh, this um, sign on the left side where you can press on uh, this, this equal sign I don't know if it's called like that in English but you press on that and then you will be able to see the why that person is above you or beneath you so and that often comes to uh, when it comes to the qualifying round we're going to check uh, there is going to be checked two rules the number of completed tournament matches the more it matches completed during qualification the better so if you do complete all the nine matches and you get minus 10 but if your opponent completes eight matches and finish minus 10 then you're going to be first in that bracket so play all the games in the qualifying at least uh, rule two number of impressive scores will we compare number of albatrosses eagles then birdies and pars so it's basically if you do an albatross and your opponent makes uh, it makes uh, five eagles then you are going to have uh, uh, then you're going to benefit more from the albatross than having more eagles when we come to the opening round, then the first rule is going to be the most important one. Qualifying round scores will be compared lower the better. It means that if you finish with a minus 20 in the opening round, your opponent has a minus 20, and then you check the qualifying round, then you have a minus 10, your opponent has a minus 9, then you are going to be first in that bracket due to rule number one, a better qualifying round score than your opponent. Then, with you, then there is rule 2, number of complete tournament matches, rule 3, number of impressive score, and rule 4 as well, rule, uh, number of impressive score. But I'm not going to focus on that because that is, it's not that often that happens, but it happens. Week and round, the first two rules are the most important part. Uh, rule 1, opening round scores will be compared lower the better. The same thing there, if you do have the same score as your opponent in the week and round, then you do a, and you have a minus 20 in the opening round your opponent has minus 19 you have a better score in the opening round you will be on top of that bracket rule two qualifying round scores will be compared lower the better so same score weekend same score opening but you have a better score in the qualifying round then you will be on top of that bracket there is number of impressive uh, number of completed tournament matches number of impressive scores uh, but those it it's going to be very uh, tough to get those rules to be applied but you can check them all out in the help desk there so ladies and gentlemen this was the walkthrough of the platinum resorts uh, tournament I hope this helped you out to get some uh, some tips on how to uh, how the tournament structure works in the game of gold clash if you do have any questions make a comment in the comment section below do not forget to check out patreon.com slash gold clash tommy for training sessions and uh, much more bonus content so uh, good luck in the Platinum Resorts Tournament.